Hi everyone, this is Julie from Urban Yogis. Today is October 2nd, 2020. We've just wrapped up our month of positivity, which is the month of September. So each month at Urban Yogis, we choose a specific theme to focus our classes and our content around and last month was our month dedicated to positivity, which was a little bit ironic for me because I wasn't feeling very positive at all. In fact, I struggled through much of September. But I sat with this idea of positivity anyhow, and I looked around to me at what was going on, and I listened to what others were saying, and also through my own personal experience of challenging myself into positivity, I've come up with a few thoughts that I'd like to share. One of the things that I've observed during this past month was that somehow, as these goal-oriented humans that we are, we have managed to turn positivity into yet another measure of personal success. So what was happening was that the people that were doing well were displaying positivity in almost the same way that you would brag about a job promotion, for example. And then those that weren't doing quite as well, uh, who maybe even expressed some of these hardships, were often chastised for being privileged, for being weak, or for being ungrateful. Now, the thing is that positivity, it's not a measure of personal success. It's this constantly evolving quality of our emotions, right? So we know that as humans, we are joy, we are happiness, we are hope and inspiration and love, but we are also anger and fear and anxiety and we evolve through our whole lives going through the range of all of these emotions. And this right now is a difficult time for a lot of people and just because someone is going through their negative emotions, it doesn't make them less valuable it doesn't make them less human. It doesn't make them less of anything compared to someone else that may happen to be going through their range of positive emotions at this moment. This brings me to my next point, which is that positivity doesn't only mean looking at all the good things you have in life. I mean, how many times have you heard someone say, don't be upset, don't be sad, look at all the good things that you have going for you in your life? Well, the thing is that this is a very difficult time again for a lot of people, and despite having these good things uh, in your life, so to speak, there is this growing sense of loss. And this is a loss of uh, identity. It's a loss of security. It's a loss of community for a lot of people and also a loss of direction, a loss of purpose. And these are not small things. So you may have good things in your life, but Putting the pieces back from these kinds of losses does require time, and it requires a lot of self-inquiry, it requires a lot of personal exploration, and what it does require, most of all, is sitting with the discomfort and acknowledging the anger, and acknowledging the pain, and acknowledging the fear, and the anxiety, and to explore where it comes from. So while 
looking at the positive or looking at the good things in your life does have its place. In some cases, it's kind of like putting a band-aid on a much deeper wound. Positivity isn't just an experience that we create for ourselves, but in fact, our own actions can contribute to greater positivity in those around us. So the more that we can build or grow positivity as a community, the more opportunities we have to help those around us that are struggling through their negative emotions. And what I mean by this is by not expelling those who are expressing their negative emotions, but instead creating a space where they feel cared for, where there is a listening ear, where people can express themselves without judgment and where empathy is abundant. And these create the foundation for a much more positive community. It's a place where hope can thrive. It's a place where people feel cared for. On the other hand, if we engage and express our ways, ourselves, in more self-centered ways, we take away that sense of hope that people care. Um, and in essence, we take away that sense of humanity. And in doing so, we strip ourselves and our communities uh, an opportunity for much greater positivity for all. Unless you have walked every minute and every second in someone else's shoes, you will never know the life they live. You will never know their history. You can never really truly understand the decisions that they make and why they express themselves in certain ways. And to look at someone else and assume that you could do better is being judgmental. It is not being positive and to express it is not a positive action. Empathy is this real drive towards understanding another person's path without judgment. And humility is the understanding that we are not better than each other and that we are just on different waves of a very similar path. So we need a little bit more empathy and a lot more humility in this world in order for us all to thrive in our positivity. So those are my brief thoughts on positivity. I'd love to hear yours, so drop them in the comments. And if you found this useful, please share it. Hit the like button and show us some support. Subscribe to our channel. And until next time, stay strong and stay positive.